17. Walter, thanks for being with us today. Given the fact that Maxar is really essentially four space companies in one, where have the greatest growth opportunities been and where are they moving forward? Well, a couple of great, great growth opportunities are in the, what we think of as the Earth intelligence space, which is a combination of the satellite imagery and the data analytics that we apply to that satellite imagery. Uh, the world is uh, a big place, and one of the things that satellite imagery does is it allows you to see what's happening um, at a global scale and doing it very cost effectively. Um, I think another area that we're seeing uh, some interesting opportunities is in the civil space area. Maxar is supporting NASA going forward to the moon with the power and propulsion element for the Lunar Gateway. Yeah, Walter, there have been a number of contract awards, uh, including ones from, from NASA in recent months. It's interesting, Maxar uh, last year, about a year ago, stock was trading in the 30s. We saw it sell off pretty aggressively into this year, down as far as $4 a share. The turnaround is a foot. Uh, now I think it's trading around 11 or $12 a share. So it seems to be a turnaround uh, story here. How far into this turnaround? is the company, and I guess given some of the trials and tribulations of the year, um, how is the company getting its arms around all of that? Well, you know, you've seen that recently we, uh, we did a bond offering. Uh, we have um, been building toward our, uh, building our backlog. Uh, you've heard us talk about some of the recent awards that we've won, and we're building our Worldview Legion satellite constellation, which is our next generation satellite constellation slated to launch in 2021, which will produce uh, a flip essentially from uh, an era where we, are, where we are spending capital to an era where we are back to generating significantly more cash from our Earth intelligence business. Uh, Walter, broad question for me, uh, whether we're talking about the private or public uh, area of, uh, of space, is the U.S. way ahead of other countries in terms of its level of innovation and development in the space sector or other countries, whether China or otherwise, uh, pretty close or even ahead? Well, so one of the things that we saw over the last probably 20 years was uh, a move from where the United States, I wouldn't say had a monopoly on space, but certainly was uh, far and away uh, in many areas ahead in space to where you're seeing now more new entrants. So on the one hand, you're seeing more entrants into space around the world. You're seeing that in the remote sensing area. You're seeing that in the launch area. Uh, but at the same time, I'd say that the U.S. still retains a technological edge in space. Uh, it's been investing in space for many, many decades. Um, and I expect that as long as that investment continues that that leadership will persist.